Okay, hello everyone. So we are going to start the episode two of Anyone Python season three. Uh, after the first episode, uh, I got the uh, email from several students uh, regarding to the uh, confusion during the episode one. So it was the uh, uh, confusing or the something fast. So I did uh, uh, the extra the episode of the episode one. So we try to cover the uh, how to install Python and how to install the PyCharm, then how to set up the PyCharm to use the Python uh, like that. So hopefully the everybody, the all the student in this uh, uh, the room, so can uh, the the start the Python programming with the PyCharm. Okay, so today we are going to continue the. Uh, kind of introductory part of the Anyone Python to start the Python program languages. So today's the main theme is the kind of the a file and the file system. So before we start as a user, why don't we start with the stretch? Okay, so you can stretch the left and right, and especially your the neck is uh, the painful when you are doing the coding or the when you watching the movie with your the monitor and computer so total like is the biggest problem so please the uh from time to time stretch it also the if you uh struggle or the something the huddle or the something issues so while you are doing programming so take the time and the work or the stretch it and sometimes it can be miraculously to solve the problem. Okay, so before we start uh, today's the main part, so I, as I suggest you every time the please download the file. So anyone Python SO3, the EO2.z file, I already emailed to you the, after the first episode, the please download the file. So let me share the my, the, you can just follow me if you didn't. Uh, complete the homework. Okay, so let me share the my the desktop. Okay, so as I suggest, it's up to you. So uh, you can the, create the one folder. In my case, I create the anyone Python folder. Then the download the file, the under the anyone Python folder. Then the, you can the unzip the file. If you are using Mac. The OS MacBook, so you can just double click, then you can have the folder. So if you are using Windows, so you can click the button on top, extract all, or you can double click, then you can have the option to unzip the file. The in case of using the Windows, Windows sometimes it has one more any Python folder. So Always you can uh, check the most inside the anyone Python folder. Okay, then let me close the, this one. So why don't you open your the PyCharm? So this is the welcome window. So if you do not have, so if you are using the old version, so mine is the latest one, it's a 2023.2, but if you are using older one, you may be different, but basically same option. So you are able to see the last one. So like the anyone Python SO3 EO1. So from the PyCharm, this is called the project. So from the your computer, this is called the folder or directory. But basically it's the same thing. So PyCharm would like to point the this folder. How you can use the open the menu. So why don't you the open the folder? So why don't you click the open? So you can see the uh, your the explorer file explorer if we are using Windows. So desktop if you uh, are using the different of folder name, so you can select the, your working folder. In my case, it's anyone Python. Okay, then the, I just unzipped the, this file, the any Python SO3 EO2. So then the, I can select the, this one for our the project, the, this episode. Do not 
click the inside, only most inside, inner most, the anyone Python folder, then the open. Okay, then you are able to see the your the PyCharm will be available. Okay, so if you can follow, if you can open the uh, episode two project, please give me thumbs up. Then I can check the how many of you can follow me. So please give me thumbs up. Okay, very nice. The Daniel did and the Hejong did and uh, who else? So please give me thumbs up, then uh, I can see the, oh, Jonathan already did. Thank you so much. So please, if you cannot follow the, this step, it will be very, very tough to follow the rest of the season, okay? So please, the step by step, so follow me. If you do not know how to do that, please watch the extra video. So I did the extra session on the Sunday, so it is available on the YouTube channel. So please watch the video and try to follow me. Okay. So I believe that everyone is ready. Oh, by the way, today the uh, Unji and Trinity they are not available for TA job. They are busy. So today we have only the Irvin. So you might be very busy <laughs> that today. So if you have any questions, so please use your chat box uh, or the. You, that is the best way. Okay. Okay. So. And uh, I'm going to momentarily the uh, close the PyCharm. Then let me ask the one question. So do you think how many files the on your computer you have? Are there how many files are there in computer system? For example, in your PC or in your MacBook, do you think how many files? Just guess. So you can use the chat box and uh, I can see 100. So Jonathan said 100. But who else? So who else? So how many? Just guess. I think the much more than the thousand. I know I have 356. Uh, Riley, it should be much, much higher than millions, Joseph, the millions, the millions, somebody may have. So let's check the how many the files you have. So if you are using the uh, Windows, let me share the my the Windows uh, here. So how do you check the how many files you have on Windows? So you can uh, start with the uh, file explorer and uh, you don't have to follow me, but if you want, you can just uh, follow me and uh, click the this dish or the my computer and the uh, local disk. This is uh, your the storage where uh, there are the, a lot of files. So I already had uh, a lot of them select all of this under the C drive and right click and the property. So you can see the here. Like the counting the number of files is increasing already 160,000 and this one is counting. So what about the MacBook? MacBook user can use disk utility. Why don't you open Spotlight search? Then the, you can the, select the disk utility. So you can select the disk utility, then the click the info top, the right corner. So if you click the info, then the, you can see the, so how many files, so check the file, file count. Can you see the, this one? Even my, I'm using the um, MacBook Air. So it's a 120 gig. So I already have the 400,000 files. Wow, it's huge. So what about the, my, uh, the Windows? The Windows, yes, it's the done. It's also the 380. The most of you, 
already have the over more than the 300,000 files on your the computer. Wow. Did you realize that you have the Riley has a 430? Is there anyone who has a millions? Somebody, but in total, yes. So the problem is, so how can you check? How can you manage the, such a huge number of files? How can we do that? So can you memorize the whole the file name? No, definitely not. How can you search? So we are going to check the how to manage such a huge number, almost a half a million of files. So first thing, first, the idea is the, because we have the too many, the too many the files, the first we are going to grouping. Think about the, I usually, I try to use the, uh, the example of the desk. Your desk, for example, you can the, actually, the, you cannot see my desk the entire, but you can see that this is the kind of my workspace. This is my computer, okay? Then if my desk, desk is a master, so I'm going to bring the box, then put the, all the stuff in a box, okay? Then the, it can be easy. So you can the, put your box or the shelf, like the, on your box, you can put the, some small stuff, then the, you can put on your the bookshelf. So we can manage it similarly. So if you have a lot of files, so we are going to create the folder, as you can see over here. So this is called the folder, okay? So in this case, so C drive has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 folder already. So you have also a lot of folder. So if we are using Mac, Mac is the same thing. So let me open the, my folder. So on, under the desktop, we have folder, but on MacBook, it's not the being called as the folder. Instead, it's called a directory. It's a directory and folder are the exactly same. It's slightly different, but it uh, doesn't matter. So folder or directory. So we can use the folder and directory to manage a bunch of files. In other words, we can group and group. So that's one approach. However, so millions of files, half a million files. So how many folders do we have? It's also a lot, right? So we have a lot of the folder to manage the, even the, such a huge number of files. So do you have any idea how we can manage such a the, the half million file and also huge number of the folder and directory. Any idea? So with the Python, mm. so even Python, so eventually use that, but uh, in general in computer system, how does computer manage the huge number of files? The local disk, the Daniel, so the local disk. What else? Any other ideas? Let me give the example. So anyone who can guess the what is the disk book? So anyone? I think the it's a folder, the Caroline. I think the pretty much older than me, the may can probably read the disk. Anyone who knows the what is the disk book? There is a Hanja, yes. This is actually the family tree book. So do you know what is a family tree book? So from the my ancestor. So like the for example here, they put the name of the first ancestor over here. Then the, their children and their children, their children. So eventually, so my name is the, over here. 
the 21, the 21st generation of my ancestor. So my name is here. My son's name is the next one. So this is the book for my family tree. Actually, my family tree book is 100, but this is a summarized book. Then how does the, this book, how is the, this book is organized? Because probably my family is the, the 100,000, over 100,000, the millions of the people. Then how does the, this book organize such a huge number of the family members? In groups, yes, but any idea? As a folder in each? So what is the name of this book? It's a family tree book. It's a family tree, yes. Uh, the finally, Eden, the find the answer. It's a family tree book. So. Even the my ancestor the used the tree to organize to manage a lot of people. So it's the same thing when we manage the files in our computer. It's a too many files. So folder is an efficient way. So we can group. But even we have too many folder. Then how can we manage such a too many folder? We are able to use the tree like the structure. So as the my ancestor used the tree, the family tree. So let me change the screen into my, the, where is that? The chair, the, here. Okay, so here, for example, So my family tree book is like that. So we have the first ancestor of my family. His name is A. Then he has number of children. So child one, child two, child three. Okay, then put the name. And the child three, for example, has the children and also children like this. Then finally, so my name, Lee, is here. Then how many generations? 21 generation. Wow. So then how can I search quickly the my name from the this book? So I can start the from here, my first ancestor, and next one, and next one, and next one. So I don't have to find, check the, all my family member. Instead, I can the, use. So this path to find myself from the family tree book. So file system in computer, we have a huge number of files here, but first we are going to group like this using what? Using folder or directory. So using the directory, we can the group then this the group ha has a number of subdirectory. It's called the subdirectory or subfolder. So then the, this folder also has folder. Then finally, we can find the file that we want. So this kind of the organization is called the tree. So tree structure is a very, very efficient way to manage a lot of data and a lot of files. So let's get back to our the example. So for example, the Windows, Windows start from the local disk C. So it's a C drive. And under the C, we can the, find the my desktop. Anyone Python, where is it? It's the uh, users. Under the users, it's the Lee. And under the lead, you can find, you can see the path over here. Okay. Then, so under the lead, there is a desktop, and under the desktop, we have anyone Python, 
Then finally, so we have the file that we unzip and the download and unzip file over here. So you can see that this is the what? Based on the tree structure. So we have the C drive. Under the C drive, so we have the users and the Lee and the desktop and the anyone Python. Finally, we have the file. So among the half millions file, we can quickly search and find the file using what? At that time, we are using tree structure. Okay, so what about the, the map? So map use the exactly same thing. So you can the, open the finder, then the, it start from the desktop. Actually, it start from the root. So Windows start from the C drive, but the Mac start from the first directory is called the root directory. Under the root, it has the home, and under the home, it has the the U. Uh, my name is a uh, J, E L E E. Then the under the J E L E, we have the desktop, and under the desktop, anyone Python. And under the anyone Python, we have anyone Python folder. So this is called the tree structure. So basically, computer use the tree structure to manage and to find the file. So we are going to use the this, the tree structure a lot. So there are two ways to use the such a file. One is like the this. This is called the graphical user interface. The graphical user interface means you can just click and click and click the file, finally. And the here is the same thing. You can just click and the click and then find the, the location like the, this one. So this is called the graphical user interface. As we have learned in season two, anyone Python, this is called the graphical user interface. Here is a question. Is there another way to find, to manage the file on your computer system? In addition to the GUI, graphical user interface, is there any other way? Yes, the Hyunmin said command line. Yes, correct. Very nice. Why don't you give the thumbs up to the Hyunmin? Okay. Why don't you give the thumbs up to Hyunmin? Okay. Very nice. So please give the thumbs up to the Hyunmin. So we learned the command line. So command line is a very, very powerful and efficient way to manage such a file. So I know a lot of, most of us are familiar with the click, click and such a, the interface, but the command line is more efficient and simple way. So during the season two, we learned how to use such a command line. Okay, here is another question. Do you remember the any command that we learned during the Anyone Python 2, season two? Any command? So a lot of students here the already took the command line in interface season two. So do you remember any command? So no one? Just uh, the type the command that you remember. Yes, the PWD list, the VIM, so LS, right? The uh, Chang Yu, the very nice so LS and CD. Yes, uh, Aidan, the, we use a lot such as CD. So today, before we start the Python, the program language, but we should be able to manage and uh, change or the move the directory, the the without any problem on the PyCharm using command line. So today I'm going to introduce, yes, we learned, um, as Maria said, the MV, the move, the remove, and also the touch. So we learned a lot. Among that, so I'm going to 
introduce some several basic commands that the, we need to move on to the next episode today. Okay. So these are the basic commands. Okay. So as I the mentioned before, command line command. It's not complicated one. It's a very intuitively you can guess. So there is a question. What is the meaning of MKDIR? The MKDIR, what is this? Make directory, very nice. So we can create the directory using MKDIR, very nice. What about CD? Go to, the Edan said is go to, it says change directory. Yes, right, so change the directory. So what about the, this one? The PWD. Where you are, print working directory because command line, sometimes it's very easy to lose, lose your way and the direction. So PWD shows the where you are. So print working directory. Then what about LS? List, show the old file, yes. And MV, move, change the file. And CP, I think that you guys can guess what is a CP. Maria and Jonathan already said it's a copy. Yes, right. Finally, if you don't need a file, RM, the remove, or RMDIR. So we are going to practice the, this with the Python today. So if you do not the, attend, take the season two, don't worry. We are not going to learn the very complicated one, very basic command that will be helpful for your, the rest of the season three. Even though you do not know, there's no, the, not a big problem. But if you know the, such a command, it saves a lot of time and your life. Okay, why don't you start the pie chunk like the, this? So why don't you start the pie chunk? So let me. Then before you start the pie chunk, why don't you go back to the welcome window? Uh, on welcome window. So why don't you open your welcome window? Then click the customize. Click the customize. Click the customize. And click all settings. If you are using old version, so your menu is the bottom right. It's a configure. You can click configure and the property like that, okay? And uh, you probably remember the, this window to set up the Python interpreter, okay? But we already set up the Python interpreter, so we are going to click the tools. So why don't you click the tools? Tools. Then you can see terminal. So you are able to see the terminal over here. The terminal. So click the terminal. Then, if you are using Mac, it will be like the disk. So you don't have to change the disk if you are using Mac. However, if you are using Windows, so let me show you the Windows. So where's my the Windows? Okay. Yes, there is my windows. So click the pie chart. I'm going to show you again. So if you are using Mac, you don't have to change, but if you are using 
windows, the tools, then terminal. Then, so under the application setting, you can see the cell pass here. Cell pass. Cell pass. Then you probably has a cmd.exe. So we are going to change the this one into replaced by powershell.exe. So powershell. So let me type powershell. The PowerShell, oh, sorry, it's a PowerShell. The PowerShell.exe. So why don't you change P O W E R S H E L, L dot e -X -E. only Windows user. So if you are using Mac, you don't have to change. Please do not change this the, if you are using Mac. So if you are using the Windows, the CMD, change it to the PowerShell, replaced by the PowerShell. Okay, then apply. So you can apply and the okay. So if you are using the Mac, like the this, so you don't have to change this one. So shell pass is the still slash bin slash G shell, G shell. Okay. So please do not change the your the shell pass for the for Mac OS MacBook only Windows user. Okay then. Let's start the project. It's so any on Python 2. So from any on Python 2, so as I said the uh, mentioned the last time, we are going to use command line to learn the Python application, Python program. So like the command over here. How can we do that? You can click the terminal on the bottom. Please click the terminal on the bottom. So if your the PyCharm is like that, terminal. Okay. So this is the command line interface. If we are using Mac, this is the PowerShell. If we are using Mac, this is called the Bash Shell. The name is not important. But uh, you are going to practice very basic command from now on. So just uh, follow me. So first command is the PWD. So PWD is just to type the PWD. So P W the D. Okay. P W D. So P W D. The PWD me shows where you are. So as I the show you the tree structure, it starts from the ancestor root. Under the root user, J E L E desktop, anyone Python, and anyone Python folder. This is the where I am. Okay. So if we are using Windows, it might be different, but uh, it shows uh, where you are. Okay, PWD. So if you do not remember the while you are the doing something, PWD, then the, you can see the, you can see the, your current directory. Okay, then next command is ls. So then you can see the old file. These are the same as what? So like the this, exactly same thing. So it's the same files and directory. Where? Current location. Under the current location, 
it shows the all the file. It's the ls command. Okay. So we learned the two things, pwd and ls. So second, third one is the, how can you move on to the carol directory, for example? How can you move? So change directory. So you can use the CD and carol. Then why don't you type the CD space and carol. CD space carol. So whenever I type the chat box, the first part is always the lowercase letter. Okay, so automatically change the uppercase. It's a lowercase letter. So CD carol. So just type the PWD. Then the, you can see the where you are. So it is changed to the what? So it's a carol. So it was any one Python folder, but the right now it's a carol. Okay. Then how can you move back to the parent directory? Do you remember? So at the time, so you are able to use a single dot and double dot. Single dot and double dot. So can you remember the meaning of the single dot and double dot? The single dot is current location. So double dot means parent. So CD, oops, CD space double dot and enter. Then which means so it moves back to the parent. So from the carol to the parent directory, like the this. So CD space and double dot. Okay, then how do I check? So you can check the PWD, then the you are here. Okay, then how can you create a new directory folder? How can you create it? MKDIR, right? The Edan and Minion, and very nice. So you can MKDIR. Why don't you create the test directory? MKDIR and test. MKDIR test. So MKDIR test and enter. So how do you check whether you create the directory or not? Anyone? How do we know? LS, yes, just try LS. Then you can see the file, a folder test over here, okay, it is created. So now I'd like to move the my new.txt file to the test. I'd like to move. So how can you move the file? So how can you move the file? Move, yes, right. So move mv space, my new.txt, my new.txt txt to the test, then it will move to the test directory. Then my new.txt is gone. Where is it? Where is it? It's a move to the test. So we are going to move into the test, the CD test. So you can the CD test. Then enter CD test and PWD. Then it is a test and you can check the file LS. So then you are able to, able to see 
my new dot txt. Okay, so then how can we move back the my new dot txt to the anyone Python folder? How can you move? You can move my new, yes, right, source. This time, what is the pattern? Pattern is double dot and slash, meaning is the parent under the parent directory. So you can enter. Okay. Then, oh, let, LS, there's no file. Then, we are going to move back cd double dot and ls then my new dot txt is over here so last thing i want to copy the my new dot txt to the this time the my test dot txt so how can you copy the file? CP, yes. So CP my new dot txt and my test new file name. So I'm going to copy the command new dot txt my test dot txt. So you can copy the file using the cp command. Then you can see the another file, my test.txt file. Okay. So this is uh, what we need the to manage the file under the tree structure. So let's the review the command again. So how can you copy the file? What command do you use? CP, the CP source and destination, new one and the uh, old one and the new one. Okay, you can use the CP. Okay, how can you move the file? So MV, okay, so old and new directory. At that time, how can you go to the parent directory? Double dot, yes, double dot, very nice. Then the, I wanna see the list of five. LS, yes, very nice. Then last one, uh, not last one. I wanna create the directory. Oh, I, I already did. Oh, I wanna see where I am. Yes, PWD. So, here is a small project. So here, if you LS, so you can see the around US, the directory. So why don't you move the around US directory? So what is the command? CD space around hyphen US. Okay, why don't you type CD space around us cd around the us okay enter so pwd so you are in the around the us directory then here why don't you type ls to see how many directory so we have five directory here so five directory, you can see the same thing. If you uh, want to see the files that you are dealing with, so you can click the here, word, the around the US. So you can check over here and the California, there are two files. Connecticut, there are two files. Florida, two files. New York, two files. And Texas, the two files. But unfortunately, 
Tools by a room place. For example, Flushing is the name of a city in which state? Anyone who knows where is the Flushing? New York. Very nice. So we are going to first move New York. Enter. Okay. Then LS. The move. Oops. Oh, this is the, the New York. So where is the Florida? We need to go to the Florida. Sorry. The Florida. Okay. Then, so flushing move to the MV. Flushing dot PNG to the parent double dot and this and where? The New York. The New York and enter. Then let's see the whether it is correct. So you can check the here, the New York. Again, okay. yes, the flushing is in the correct directory. So you, this is a homework for your practice. Why don't you move? So do not move like this, okay? This is not the command line. Please use the command that we learned the, today. CD, LS, MV, and that's it. And single dot, double dot. Using this command, why don't you find the correct location of the file? Then check with your, the file explorer, where if they are in the correct location, like the, this one, the, if you click the New York, so you can see the flushing is the correct location. This is a Chinatown in the Flushing and Orlando should be Florida and the San Antonio should be which state? Do you know where, which state? It's the San Antonio, anyone who knows which state? California? I don't think so. <laughs> so which state San Antonio? Texas, right, so it should be Texas. So. Using the command that we learned the, today, why don't you correct the location of the file under the correct the directory state? Okay, so that is for your homework. I know it's not easy first time to use the command line. We learned the several command, but uh, these command are very, very useful to speed up and for efficient efficiently manage the file, okay? First time is painful. You don't know what you are doing. Just to follow the command. So if you know about the more command and the step-by-step, -step, please watch the season two video. So during the season two, we learned the very, very details of the such a uh, the command. This will be helpful. Then somebody may ask, I'm going to ask, why do we, the why we need the command line? Why do you, why do I use the command line in Python programming? Anyone who can answer? Those who took the season two? Why do we need to learn the command line, anyone? Command line is what? Benefit? It's a faster, you done right? And make it easier, yes. And efficient. So, and also most important thing is, if we are using command line, it looks cool. Okay, it's like the hacker. Okay, instead of the clicking the the explorer, but if you are able to type or the Python or the such a thing, it looks really cool and uh, looks like you are professional. So first time not easy, but the step by step, I'm going to give the command. So that's the reason the you can run the Python program using the button. However. In this, the season three, 
So we are going to use the command line. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to the the anyone Python folder. So please, the type the cd double dot. Then the, you can go back to the anyone Python folder. Okay. So then the we have ten more minutes. So at that the for the last part. So we I'm going to introduce before we start the Python program next episode. Finally, we are going to start. You are ready to start the Python program. But before we start the Python programming language, so I'd like to the show you the Python style. There are kind of the style in Python programming. So this is very, very important. So why don't you click the zip? The zip for chase carol py file. So let me clear. Let's start the one more time. How can we run the this program? If we are using the Py, the Mac Python three always, Python three, then you don't have to type everything. So you can type two or three letters. Then the using tab, okay? Then it's automatically here the rest of this. Then Python three enter. If you are using Windows, on Windows you can just type Python. Okay, that's the only difference. So I'm using Mac, so I'm going to type Python three. But if we are using the uh, Windows, just the Python, then the file name skip people chase carol the py then enter. Then the, you can see the just the, the carol program. We are not going to cover the carol program today. It's just the, the show. I'd like to show you how to run the Python programming. This is the first thing. Okay, Python three and the file name. Okay, if we are using the Windows Python and file name, then the you are able to see. So please give me thumbs up if you can run the Carol program using command line. Please give me thumbs up if you can run the program on your command line terminal. Okay, the minion did. Okay, very nice. And uh, who else? Please give me thumbs up. So please give me thumbs up if you can uh, follow me the, to run the program the using the command line terminal. Tang Yul did very nice. And uh, who else? So please give me thumbs up. Keep him uh, giving me the thumbs up. So if you are able to use the, your the terminal for your the Python programming, okay? Yes, the Brandon did very nice. And the Samuel did. And uh, Jeremy R also did very nice. Okay, then there are several the style when you are doing the Python programming. So first thing is the do you remember that during the season one and two, I mentioned the several times? There are very, very important things in your Python programming, but easily forget. So what is the this? So it's a very important in the programming, but easily forgot. So what is the this? That is this. So you can see the green part on your the Python programming. So this is called the what? This is a it's a command. Do you remember that? Yes, right. The uh, Maria the uh, uh, finally answered that. This is called a command. So command means it's a description. It's not real code. 
So, which means even though you ignore the this, like that, I'm going to pass. So I'm going to delete the this part. Like the this. Then here you are able to run the program. Like the this. So why do we need the, such a command? Why do we need? So why do we need uh, such a command? Anyone who can answer why do we use uh, such a command? Easy to understand the code. Yes, right. So because if you do not put uh, such a command, we don't know what's the meaning of this. So just main and uh, what kind of main. So but if you put the uh, description like uh, this, to run a race that is nine avenue wrong, we need to move forward or jump harder eight times. So it describes the meaning of the code. So it is very important whenever you are create the function or code, put the command like this. There are two types of command on your Python programming. One is this. Triple, one, two, three, triple, double quotation. So you can put the triple, double quotation, starting, triple, double quotation, ending. So it's a multiple line command. This is called a multiple line command. So you can use the, for example, I'd like to add a, a command over here. One, two, three. Okay, then you can put whatever you want. So this is test command, like this, and by Lee. So you can add multiple line command with triple three starting, three ending, triple double quotation mark. Okay, so this is a multi line command. There is another way for command. Another way. Do you remember? Yes, it's the hashtag. You like the hashtag, right? So if you want to comment line by line, one line, so instead of using the this one and the this one, so I'd like to comment line, one line. At that time, you can give the hashtag. So hashtag is uh, one line and another line, line by line command. So this is not the real code, but uh, this is uh, the description line by line. Also, this is the another tip. So you can add the hashtag in the middle of the line also. So starting the main function. So like this. So later, if you have, if you major in computer science in your college and other the classes, so if you forgot the, your code is perfect, but if you forgot the command, what happened? Your point will be deducted. Most of TA, most of the teacher, most of the professor, they deduct the point if a student missed the command because they cannot understand your code without command. So this is the pro tip. Usually for each function, for each function, give one or two lines, one or two lines of the command. Describe what's the meaning of this, okay? And also, Later, we will talk about the precondition and postcondition of the function. So you can give the precondition of the function, postcondition of the function, like that this. If you do not know what that means, so don't worry, we will cover later. Okay, so this is a command. The next important part of the Python. Today, I'm going to borrow your the five more minutes, so today. So this, what is the name of this symbol? 
What's the name of the this symbol? Like the this. It's a colon. Where is it? On your keyboard, right next to the L keyboard, you can find semicolon and colon. So this is the colon with the shape. Okay. Like the this. So what's the meaning of the this colon? What's the meaning of that? You expect the code block. So this is called the code block. The code block. So for example, if you see the colon over here, so this is the code block. If you see the colon here, this is a code block. If you see the colon here, this is a code block. Okay, so whenever you see the colon, so you may expect, you should expect code block like that. This is a very important in Python programming. Okay, so Python recognized that this is my neighbor. This is my area. Okay, and also this, the colon means that this is the who area. So this means it's the if area. So it's the kind of the Define the area, okay? So like, the, for example, think about your house. Your house has the property boundary. So this is a property boundary of the main. So always, whenever you see the dot, it's a colon. So you should expect this, the block. So called the code block. Remember, so we will see a lot. Then, last thing. How can we represent the boundary, such a code block? So if your house has a boundary, property boundary, you can put a fence, okay? But what about the Python? Python, how does the Python represent uh, such a block? At that time, we are using, as Ian said, very nice, please give me the crap. To the Ian, so nice class. So why don't we give the clap to the Ian? Very nice. Okay, nobody give. Yes, right, uh, Hyunsu, and uh, thank you. So as Ian said, indentation. So indent is like this. Indent is like this. So let me clear for your better understanding. So. So you can see the clear. So you, as I said, the column means code block. So there is a code block then, this is the indentation. So same indentation, you can slightly see the line over here because the PyCharm give the invisible line, actually visible here, but it's not existing. But to create the, such a code block, so like the line. So this is called a code block. So using what? Indentation. Then here is the question. What length of indentation do we use in Python in general? How much indentation do we need? Ten? Anyone else? Ten space is too much. 10 might be this much. <laughs> Five, half, yes. So already answer who answered the first. The minions answered the first. It's a tap. It's a one tap. Okay. But usually one tap, how many space? Four space. Okay. So four spaces. So this is the our indentation. All right. So you can see the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then this is the, another level of the indentation. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four space. Remember, four space or one tap for indentation. So if you have the same indentation, which means it's the same block, it's the same level of the family. Okay. And this is the same. 
Let's see the other example. Here. So second, uh, I send the hurdle as the colon, then same indentation. How many block? How many space? Four space. And how many tab? One tab. Either of them. One tab or four spaces. So this is the indentation. So keep the indentation is very, very important. What about Java? Anyone who ever used the Java program language? Java does not require indentation. Java does not require C, does not require indentation. Only Python use the indentation for to represent a code block. So you can see there's such a code block with a color over here. Okay. Then really last thing. How many indentations are good? How many indentations? Seven. Oh, seven minutes over. I'm sorry. It's almost done. So it's the last thing. How many indentations? As many as possible. However, if you have too many indentations, your code is really, really confused. So we usually suggest two or three indentations. So keep in mind. So we need to uh, put uh, as many commands as possible. First thing, and the colon, colon always indicate, followed by code block. Then how can we represent a code block? Indentation, okay? So we are going to practice the based on the, this programming style for the first Python program next class. Okay, thanks so much for your attending. And uh, if you don't understand clearly the today's the especially the uh, the uh, command line, it's a very basic, so everybody can understand. Please take a time, watch the video, then the follow the command. Okay, then eventually your the programming speed will be the very nice. You are even you can break the to your the friend. Okay, thanks so much for your attending. The we will see the next. Uh, uh, episode three. Then finally, we will start the first Python program. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.